Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standard, PICE 402 Series of 2001. Agricultural Structures, Housing for Broiler Production. Forward. The formulation of this national standard was initiated by the Agricultural Machinery Testing and Evaluation Center, AMTEC, under the project entitled Enhancing the Implementation of the AFMA Through Improved Agricultural Engineering Standards, which was funded by the Bureau of Agricultural Research, BAR, of the Department of Agriculture, DA. The word, shall, is used to indicate requirements strictly to be followed in order to conform to the standard and from which no deviation is permitted. The word, should, is used to indicate that among several possibilities one is recommended as particularly suitable, without mentioning or excluding others, or that a certain course of action is preferred but not necessarily required. Scope. This standard specifies the minimum requirements for broiler production. It includes space requirement, feeding and watering facilities. Definitions. For the purpose of this standard, the following definitions shall apply. Brooder guard. Materials that are placed around the brooder stoves to prevent the chicks from straying too far away from the heat supply until they learn the source of heat. Brooding. Process of supplying heat to the chicks after hatching up to the time that their natural heat regulatory mechanisms becomes fully functional. Litter. Material used as bedding for animals. Open-sided housing. Long and narrow type of houses wherein at least one half of the front and the back of the house are open. Enclosed housing. House wherein inside conditions are maintained as near as possible to the bird's optimum requirements with the use of mechanical ventilation and artificial lighting. Location. The location shall conform to the land use plan of the area. The site shall be accessible to service roads, water supply and electric lines. The site shall be well drained and allows for free air circulation. The building shall be constructed in an east-west orientation and the structure for marketable animals shall be located near the service road. The site shall be located where the prevailing winds will not carry odors to the farmhouse. Classification of broiler house. According to type of roof. Lean to roof. Span, ridged roof. According to type of floor. Slotted floor. Solid floor. Litter type floor. Concrete floor with cages. According to type of enclosure. Open sided housing. Enclosed housing. Space requirement. Adequate floor space shall be provided to the broilers. Table 1 shows the minimum floor space requirement for broilers. For broiler aged from 4 weeks and below requires a floor space of 6.25 square meter per 100 birds. For broiler above 4 weeks old requires a floor space of 12.50 square meter per 100 birds. Structural requirements. Roof. Roofing material should be made of corrugated GI sheets and other durable roofing materials. At least one meter roof overhang shall be provided to ensure shade and to protect the birds from rain. Roof structure shall be designed to carry additional dead loads such as suspended feeders. Roof should be equipped with gutters so that rainwater can be drained away separately. Ceiling, optional. Ceiling height shall be at least 2.4 meters high. Walls. The walls should be made of suitable materials such as chicken wire or bamboo slats. There should be provision to protect young chicks and older birds during periods of cold weather and extreme winds. Door. Entrance doors shall be at least 900 mm wide by 2 meters high and shall be made to swing inward. It shall be covered with 25 mm mesh wire netting. Doors between pens shall be hung in pairs and be made to swing in both directions so that feed and litter carriers can be pushed through from either direction. Floors Slotted floor 
The width of the slat shall be 25 mm to 50 mm and the space in between slats shall be 25 mm to 38 mm. On top of the slats, plastic net or fish net with 25 mm holes shall be used. If welded wire is used, it should have 625 mm mesh. The wire shall be supported every 300 mm. Slats or wire floors shall be constructed in sections so that they may be removed when it is necessary to clean the droppings from under them, or when the house is cleaned. The floor shall be elevated at least 900 mm from the ground and the posts should have a diameter of at least 200 mm. Litter type floor. Litter material shall be at least 50 mm to 100 mm deep over the cemented floor. Around the cemented floor, there should be solid wall with a height of 600 mm to retain the litter. The litter material shall be light in weight, have a medium particle size, highly absorbent, dry rapidly, soft and compressible, low thermal conductivity, inexpensive. Floor support shall be designed to carry concentrated loads such as the maximum total weight of the birds. Functional requirements. Housing sizes. Width of the pen shall be about 10 meters to 12 meters. The length of the house shall depend on the terrain of the land and on the length of the automatic feeding equipment. Brooding area. The area shall be surrounded with cardboard, metal sheeting or any hard board with a minimum height of 450 millimeters to protect the chicken from draft. Artificial light. During the first 48 hours, Chicks shall receive a total of 23 hours of light at 35 watt per meter of illumination. This amount should be supplied by approximately 3.5 watts of light bulb for each 0.37 meters of floor space when the bulb is approximately 2.4 meters above the floor and under a good clean reflector. After the first 48 hours, the intensity of light shall be reduced. At floor level it should be about 10 watt per meter. Provide approximately 1 watt of bulb, at 2.4 meters above the floor, and under a good and clean reflector for every 0.40 meters of floor space. The height of hover type brooder shall be adjustable. Hovers shall be maintained at a minimum clearance of 120 millimeters above the back of the birds. Proper temperature inside the brooding area shall be maintained to make the chicks feel comfortable. The range of temperature ideal at various ages of broiler chicks is shown in Table 2. The recommended brooding temperature of the chicks at 1 to 7 days old is 32 to 35 degrees Celsius. For 8 to 14 days old is 29 to 32 degrees Celsius. For 14 to 21 days old is 27 to 29 degrees Celsius. Beyond 21 days, provide heat only when necessary. Thermometers shall be placed in strategic locations inside the poultry house in order to monitor the temperature. Temperature in the poultry house shall not be permitted to become higher than the outside temperature during summertime. Temperature should be lowered by providing additional water troughs, roof sprinklers, foggers and fans. Aisles and walkways Aisles and walkways between doors walls shall be at least 1 meter wide. Equipment and facilities Feeders The recommended feeder length for broilers is shown in Table 3. If you like this video, you can support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So that we can make more videos related to agricultural and biosystems engineering. Give your comments and suggestions in the comment section below. You can also follow me in Facebook. For the 4 weeks old and below, the feeder required is 4 linear meter per 100 birds or 4 pieces of round feeder per 100 birds. For above 4 weeks old, the feeder required is 7.5 linear meter per 100 birds or 5 pieces of round feeder per 100 birds. Each feeding trough should have a guard or lip about 10 mm to 20 mm to prevent the feed from being scratched out or beaked out onto the floor. It should be provided with wire bars or grills to prevent scratching and billing. Figure 1. Round feeders should be provided with adjustable slots to control feed flow. Figure 2.
edges of feeder pan should be rolled for safety. As the flock grows, feeders shall be raised to maintain the feed level at the same height as the back of the chickens. For the four weeks old and below, the feeder required is 4 linear meter per 100 birds or 4 pieces of round feeder per 100 birds. For above 4 weeks old, the feeder required is 7.5 linear meter per 100 birds or 5 pieces of round feeder per 100 birds. Waterer. For every 100 chicks, two found type chick waterers shall be provided for the first two weeks. Waterers shall be placed outside the edge of the hover. After two days the founts shall be placed on stands about 25 mm high. Each waterer shall hold approximately 3.6 liters of water. Waterer length requirement for four weeks old and below is 2.5 linear meter per 100 birds or one piece of round waterer per 100 birds. For above four weeks old is 4 linear meter per 100 birds or one piece round waterer per 100 birds. To facilitate cleaning, the shape and size of the waterers should be semicircular and fairly wide and supported by an adjustable bracket to permit easier adjustment. It may have a removable stopper at the drainage end to allow easier cleaning. Waterers should be spaced uniformly throughout the house. No bird shall have to go over 3 meters to drink water. Lighting Artificial lighting with an intensity of 200 lux, refer to NXB, shall always be available for use during the night or darkened periods of the day. All electrical design and installation shall conform to Philippine Electrical Code. Ventilation. Natural ventilation. Outlets should be either ridge or chimney opening on the downwind side of the building. It should be preferably located at the highest point in a building. Inlets should be through vent doors, curtains or other large openings along the long sides of the building. If necessary, automatic controls should be provided to maintain the indoor temperature and provide air exchange as weather changes hourly and seasonally. Natural ventilation system controllers should be available to regulate air exchange by adjusting inlet and outlet opening sizes. Various devices should be used to adjust the opening size. Pneumatic systems, either manual or motorized cable and winch systems, and motorized mechanical arms. Mechanical ventilation, if necessary. Fans should be installed on the side opposite to the prevailing winds. Waste disposal. For waste management, refer to PICE 414 series of 2002 agricultural structures, waste management structures.